Cheesy, written by Nathan Allen, Sang Yun Ju. Exterior, Pasture, Southern Gangwon, South Korea, Dawn. A flock of sheep meander on a gentle knoll as dawn light peaks above the canopy of nearby woods. A mother goat nuzzles its kid. Dew mats the fur of cows as they graze. A woman treads onto soft grass. We see her approaching a soft beige cow, a Swiss brown. She carries a pail in one hand, a stool in the other. She stops in front of the cow and smiles. She has soft eyes and irrepressible dimples, exuding the tired joy of someone struggling for a new venture. This is Jane. She pets her cow. You ready to make some cheese? It moos. Jane sits down and milks it. A piano plays in the background as our title card emerges. Cheesy. A male singer croons as we cue, Just Friends. Just friends, lovers no more. Interior, Happy Cow Creamery, Various, Day. To wistful music and slow motion, we see a cheese made. Milk floods into a stainless steel bath. Culture and rennet pour into the fluid. Anato, the natural orange coloring of cheddar, tumbles like a caramel waterfall. Jane and several workers, dressed in white gowns and blue gloves, dredge the curds, using linen cloths to press them into wheels. Infants who will age into delicious cheese. It seems like pretending. It isn't the ending. Interior, Cheese Cave, Day. A heavy door opens, revealing a low-lit room with long rows, as quiet as the grave. Dozens of cheese lie in repose, covered in layers of bacteria and mites, living dust. Two friends drifting apart. Two pairs of hands place the new cheese onto an empty row. It's Jane and a man, Bin, wiry with deep-set eyes. They move with intimacy. This is her husband. They kiss before leaving. We slowly pull out of the cheese cave. We loved, we laughed, we cried, then suddenly love died. The door closes on us. The story ends and we are just friends. Fade out. Four years later. Exterior, fenced goat pasture, early morning. Jane grits her teeth. She pries at the barn's rusted door, inside the enclosed pasture. A few dozen goats watch. Standing behind Jane is Anna. She is paradoxically Jane's best friend and creamery accountant. She frets. Ugh. I talked with the bank, Jane. They're not going to extend the loan. There's no way they'd extend the loan. The goon told me that banks are in the business of making money, and we haven't made money in three years. Jane heaves at the door. It screeches. The goats bleat en masse. Jane wipes sweat off her brow. Can you handle this? She says to a crusty, a juicy nearby. Aye. Jane picks herself up and walks away. Anna follows. Exterior. Hill. Day. From a wide shot, we see Jane walking downhill from the pasture to the creamery. Anna badgers after her. They're gonna take the cows. All those Swiss brown cows you love so much, they're going back to Switzerland. All those Nubian goats, back to Nubia. They're used to Gangwon, Jane. They won't last a day in the desert. Exterior, tasting patio, day. Jane stands on a ladder, tying up a banner that reads, Welcome to Happy Cow. She's clearly preparing for an upcoming event. Anna stands nearby. We'd have to sell your entire cheese cave just to break even. Jane descends the ladder. And what are those over there? Are those storm clouds? Is it going to rain? Jane glances over her shoulder. Those are cirrus clouds, dry as a bone. They look pretty wet to me. You're anxious. I think you need some cheese. No, Jane. I don't need cheese. Anna whines her last line as Jane pushes her towards the creamery. Interior, cheese cave, day. Anna eats a slice of cheddar. It looks immaculate aged for four years to perfection and laced with white crystals. The larger cheddar wheel rests on a table. Jane reflects on it. This is the same cheddar we saw from four years ago. It is aged. So has she. She turns to Anna. It's delicious, isn't it? 
I think it's good. You think it's good, but no one in Korea is going to buy this cheese. What are you talking about? Jane, it smells like a white man's foot. So it tastes great. I'm glad you admit it. For four years, you've aged this cheese. And I've supported you. You have your vision. I respect that. But if you're wrong about this cheese and I'm right, we're going to go bankrupt. Does everything always have to be about money? Yes. Jane scoffs. She paces, exasperated. Anna's eyes track her. Ugh. What are you really saying? What do you think we should do? Save the cheddar for now. We can't do that, Anna. The tasting is today. Thirty people are showing up in a few hours. Should I just order them a bunch of fried chicken and beer? No, of course not. We've got your brie. Your Mars Capone. We can whip it up into some cheesecakes. The department store distributors would love that. We could even show them around the creamery. Let them pet the baby goats. People fucking love baby shit. I'm not a tour guide, Anna, and I'm not a dessert chef. I'm a cheesemaker, and the only way I'm going to make a market for my cheese is if I push people. You're being too severe. You have to be patient with people. They're not ready for this. It's been four years, Anna. Four. I'm sick of waiting. I'm just trying to keep us from closing. If people aren't ready for my cheese, then screw them. They don't deserve it. It's now or never. A server pokes his head into the cheese cave. Jane? Okay, Duck, Sa Jangnim is here. Note. Sa Jangnim is a Korean honorific for a business owner or corporate president. Good. There's a man who appreciates my work. With a worried look, Anna watches Jane leave. 